my name is Lise and I am realizing that this shirt looks kind of stupid on camera now. Um, hold on. Look it, it's pretty cute. We're just going to roll with the fact that you can only see my top half on camera, okay? Okay, good. Hi again. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing video for some LGBT books I bought for Pride Month. Um, hopefully I remembered to put a little thing before this video started, but uh, the place I bought these books from, Book Outlet, has said some controversial things after I purchased these books. I'm going to leave a link down below for a video or two that explains what Book Outlet did if you were not on Twitter to see what they said. Uh, this was my first time purchasing from Book Outlet. It will be my last. I didn't even really like their selection that much. I just enjoyed buying books for $3, but you know what? I'll give that money to some authors that deserve it and some businesses that need it. Anyway, here is the stack. I got six books. I actually think one of them is not LGBT, but like it's a rainbow cover. So we'll just pretend that counts. But yeah, let me get into it. Hopefully this will be a pretty short video. Uh, I did plan to do a lot more Pride related videos for this month, but just with the things going on, my schedule just was off. So, you know what, we're just gonna start with this one. Maybe there'll be some more this month, whatever I can manage. I discovered Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time. So definitely going down that rabbit hole. I had so many books to read this month and now I'm just taking my time to read all of the Avatar graphic novels. But you know what, it's okay. I still have, it's still summer. I have lots of time. It's cool, it's great, I just, don't worry, just enjoy the video. Thank you. So the first book from my haul is Death Before Blondes. I think this is the only pink book on my shelf. So, you know, that's great. And yeah, the, I don't know if you can see it here, but the cover is kind of like holographic. You definitely cannot see that. But yeah, I am loving that. And I'd like to read the first paragraph for the summary because listen to this. Teenage socialite Margot Manning leads a dangerous double life. By day, she dodges the paparazzi while soaking up California sunshine. By night, however, she dodges security cameras and armed guards, pulling off high-stakes cat burglaries with a team of flamboyant young men. In and out of disguise, she's in all the headlines. Honestly, that's enough to pull me into this book, but just reading some random words off the back of this book, including drag queen, platinum wig, dangerously sharp tool like i'm into it i usually don't read actiony adventure heist kind of thingies like this but i'm excited for this one so i'll let you know if i actually make it to it this month next i bought what they always tell us by martin wilson i've actually read this book before and it's been like four years since i read it so i don't really remember what it's about but I did put it on my favorite shelf on Goodreads. I just remember really loving it. Just as like a little summary, basically it's about two brothers and they kind of become estranged from each other because there's this incident at a party. And it's just this whole dynamic of one brother likes to party and socialize and he has a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, and the other brother is like this loner outcast and he's figuring out his own sexual identity and place in the world and all that but I just remember really loving it because it was so quiet and focused on relationships beyond just romantic but also just friendships and family relationships and I thought it was so great so I'm excited to reread this one because again it's been quite a while um I really hate the cover <laughs> look at those shoes though but other than that I remember the book being really great this is the part in the video where I realized I didn't have my light on. Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that half of this video has lightning and the other half doesn't. If you couldn't tell, I'm filming this at like 10 p.m. right now and I am struggling to make a good video. So I'm just gonna look at this footage in the morning and see if it's even worth it. Next in my nice lighted <laughs> frame you can see now is sock hill girls uh i really i've seen a lot of things about this i've kind of been avoiding reviews and stuff because i don't want spoilers and i really don't know a lot about it i read the back and i still don't know what it's about it's something about 
disappearing girls. I read that concept before, so I'm wondering how this will take that. But I'm excited because it's, I think it's horror or suspense. Or something beyond the normal contemporary that I usually read. But yeah, this one looks great. I love the cover. I am pretty sure it is sapphic, so all these bonus points for that. Next, I got Earth to Charlie. Um, this is another book. I have no idea what it's about. I really got it because it was like two or three dollars on Book Outlet. I like my bargain books, okay? Uh, reading the back, it looks like it's about a kid who gets bullied and some weird aspect about him believing in aliens. I don't know. I I read whatever that other book about aliens is. We are the ants. I don't know. <laughs> I but yeah, that's been a concept before in a book about a kid who kind of believes in aliens. So interested to see how this goes. Um, once again, I'm going to keep saying this. I love this cover. All the books I bought for this haul, the covers are so bright and colorful, which is appropriate for this month, so that's great. Next is This Is What It Feels Like. Um, also a beautiful cover. But uh, this, look, just reading the back, it looks like this is a contemporary novel centered around music, like like kids in a band. Um, I did start this book only a couple chapters in, but I love it so far. I love music, so reading about a bunch of kids in bands, I think that's cool. It's sapphic too, I'm pretty sure. And this is gonna be the next book I read. And lastly, I got The Weight of Zero. This is not an LGBT book, but it is uh, bright rainbow colors, if that counts for anything. I honestly bought this because I thought it was pretty. I have to stop buying books for reasons besides they sound interesting. It does sound interesting though. It's about mental illness, depression, and bipolar disorder, which is totally something I would read. So not like a bad buy, but yeah, I definitely bought it because of the cover. Look at that. It's like watercolor. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was my haul. I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to put something out there while I was deciding what I wanted to do with the rest of the month. Uh, hopefully some of those sounded interesting to you, and I am sorry if this video ends up being a complete mess with my half lighting and inability to form complete sentences. It's going to be lovely to edit tomorrow, <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone is doing well, and thank you for watching. Bye! Oh, my God.